Hey everybody, it's Kathy. Uh, I've gotten a lot of request, re requests recently about sunscreen um, and to give my thoughts on what's good and what's not. And sunscreen I find to be very confusing for the average person. I mean, I've had quite a bit of education in that area and it still can be mind-boggling um, how much information is out there and how much of it is just a part of the story. So what I want to first talk about is the different types of rays. The two that we are concerned with are UVA and UVB. There's also UVC, but we're not worried about those. So UVA rays, those are the rays that um, that penetrate deeper and they cause a lot of the aging. So think of A for aging. Um, they are also the rays that most tanning beds use, which is funny because I'm old enough that I remember when tanning beds first came out and we were taught that they were the safer tan because they did not utilize UVB rays. The UVB rays are the burn rays. Um, but what what we found, uh, I forget what the what the statistics were, but in the 70s when uh, sunscreen first came out that blocked UVB rays only, because that was all we were concerned with way back when, um, they actually had an increase in skin cancers because the UVB ray was kind of what always burned our skin, so it let us know you've been outside too much, get undercover, you've had too much, you're red, you're burned. So then we started blocking it with sunscreen and so we no longer had that red, literally red <laughs> warning that you're getting burned, get out of the sun. So we would stay in the sun all day with our sunscreen. Little did we know we were doing some major damage deep down inside with the penetrating A rays. So fast forward to where we are now. We now know about UVA rays. Problem is people still don't realize just how damaging they are. Um, when you look at skin that's aging, what's what I find very interesting anyway, is most of what we think of as aging. You know, this is just part of what you have to expect from aging. The sagging, the, uh, the different uneven skin tone, the wrinkles, the uh, loss of elasticity, the loss of collagen, the, the, in the larger pores. Um, all of these things that, that really, you know, you're kind of told when you get older, this is what happens. The truth of the matter is the majority of that is a side effect of the sun. Um, if you look at somebody who, I know people who have never been in the sun for one reason or another, a medical condition or whatever, for those people, the, um, the, the appearance of their face, it's, they're, they're decades younger looking than everybody else their age. Um, and another way of sort of understanding that is look at darker skinned people, particularly African American skin, um, because that type of skin has some natural protection because of the pigment. Um, they also have a much, uh, they show aging much less, and it's not because they're not aging right along with us, but it's because the sun factor has been sort of taken away to a large degree. So keep that in mind. Um, sunscreen is really your number one biggest defense against aging skin. Um, I have a lot of clients who come to me and they want me to help them to take years off, but meanwhile, they're going to a tanning bed, they're laying out on the beach constantly, um, and I tell them, you know what, you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars for very little results um, for taking away what you've done, but just a few dollars a, a month and you could have gorgeous skin.